Constructions. Hello everyone, in today's video, we'll dive into chapter 11 from the NCERT syllabus, titled, Constructions. This chapter focuses on three main topics. 1. How to divide a line segment into a given ratio. 2. Constructing a triangle similar to a given triangle, based on a specified scale factor, which could be either less than 1 or greater than 1. 3. Constructing a pair of tangents to a circle from an external point. We'll break down each of these topics in detail, working through all the exercise questions step by step. Let's start with first topic of this chapter. How to divide a line segment into a given ratio. Imagine you have a chocolate bar, and you want to share it between two friends. Now, instead of just cutting it in half, you want to divide it in a way that one friend gets a bit more than the other. Let's say you decide one friend gets five pieces, and the other friend gets three pieces. So, in total, there are five plus three equals eight pieces of chocolate. Now, if you take a long line, instead of a chocolate bar, and you want to divide this line in a similar way, five parts for one friend and three parts for the other, that's what we call dividing a line in a five to three ratio. This means the line will be split into eight equal sections, and one part will be five sections long, while the other will be three sections long. That's the simple idea of dividing in a ratio like five to three. One part is bigger than the other, but both parts are connected to the total size of the line. Once we understand what dividing a line into a ratio means, let's see how we can actually do it. Suppose you want to divide an eight centimeters long line into a ratio of five to three. In this case, you could simply mark points at one centimeter apart and divide the line at the fifth point to get the required five to three ratio. But what if the line is a bit longer than eight centimeters? What if you don't know the exact length of the line or don't have a scale that measures the length precisely? How would you divide this line so that one side has five equal parts and the other side has three equal parts? To make this easier, we have a simple construction method that allows you to divide any line into any ratio without even knowing its exact length. Let's take the same 8 centimeters line. When we divide it into a 5 to 3 ratio, we get the division point here. Now, what if you didn't know the length of this line? How would you still find the division point? Here's how. First, we draw a line from one end of the line such that it makes an acute angle with the original line. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. Next, since we want to divide the line into a 5 to 3 ratio, we need to divide it into 8 equal parts. Why 8? Because 5 plus 3 equals 8. Now that we know the total number of parts, take a compass and adjust it to any length, the exact length of the compass is not important here. Use the compass to divide this angled line into 8 equal parts. Label these points as A1, A2, and so on, up to A8. Next, join A8 with the endpoint B of the original line. Now, since we need the 5 to 3 ratio, draw a line from A5 that is parallel to the line A8B. When we do this, we get the exact point that divides the original line into the 5 to 3 ratio. Surprising, right? Now, how do you draw a line that is parallel to A8B? Here's how. Take the compass, adjust it to any length, and place it at A8. Draw an arc as shown. Without changing the compass width, place it at A5 and draw another arc. Next, measure the distance between these two points where the arc intersects, and replicate this same distance by placing the compass at this point. Now. Draw a line from A5 through that point. This line will be parallel to A8B, and you'll see that the new point where this line intersects the original line is the same as the point we marked earlier. This shows that we've done the construction correctly. The best part about this method is that you can divide any line, regardless of its length, even if you don't know the exact measurement. 
I hope this clears up how to divide a line into a given ratio. In your exam, apart from constructing this, you will also be expected to write down the construction steps to explain how you did it. Let's take another example to understand this perfectly. Here we will also write the steps we took. Draw a line of 9 cm and divide it into a 6 to 4 ratio. Here, we need to divide a 9 cm line into a 6 to 4 ratio. Let's do it. Take a ruler, draw a line of 9 cm as shown, and label the endpoints of the line as A and B. After this, we will draw an inclined line that makes an acute angle with line AB. You don't have to measure the angle. You can just draw a line at a random angle, but remember the angle should be less than 90 degrees. After this, we need to divide this inclined line into an equal number of parts. But how many? To get this number, add the given ratio, that is, 6 plus 4, which will be equal to 10. So, we will divide this inclined line into 10 equal parts. Take a compass, adjust it to some length, and cut the inclined line into an equal number of parts as shown. Label these points as A1, A2, and so on, up to A10. Next, join these two endpoints, A10 and B, as shown. After this, since we need to divide the line into 6 to 4 ratio, therefore, we have to draw a line parallel to this line from point A6. To do so, take a compass adjust it to some length, and using this point as center, draw the arc as shown. After this, without changing the length of the compass, place the compass at this point and draw the arc as shown. Next, take the distance between these two points on this compass, and by keeping the compass at this point, cut the arc on the previous arc as shown. In the end, draw the line from point A6 passing from this obtained point. Therefore, we got the point by dividing the line into a 6 to 4 ratio. This completes the construction part. Now let's write down the steps which we just performed. Step 1. Draw a line segment of 9 cm and label it as AB. Step 2. Draw a ray of line making an acute angle with line segment AB. Step 3. Mark the points A1, A2, A3, up to A10, such that distance between point AA1 equals A1A2 equals A2A3 equals A3A4 and so on. Step 4. Join endpoint A10 and endpoint B of the line. Step 5. Through the point A6, draw a line parallel to line A10B, such that it intersect line AB at point C. C is the point dividing the line segment AB of 9 cm in the ratio of 6 to 4. And that's how you can divide a line segment into the required ratio. I hope this video made the concept clear for you. In the next video, we'll go through more examples to strengthen your understanding. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you're new to ADTW study, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.